You call this a guide scope? No. This is a guide scope. Let's install it. Hey, it's me again. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a vlog like this and uh, I decided to do it today because today is a very special day since I got my new guide scope rings. I will be fitting them onto the main 10 inch that I have, finally back home. Um, yeah, I was I was like using this this mini guide scope, but it it wasn't very effective and it couldn't just get the light I wanted um, for guiding purposes. So I got a much bigger guide scope. Uh, it's downstairs and it is the Hold on. It, it, it is the Skywatcher 72 ED Evo Star. Um, it's not actually a guide scope, it's just a very big um, apochromat. Um, it uses like the. St it still uses the two lens system. This, this is the thing in its glory. Um, yeah, it came with the standard brackets, but they are not. Um, they won't allow me to like pinpoint the star and align the the main scope with the the guide scope so I bought some new rings for it and they're in this package over here um, and we will be unboxing it so yes If you can see that, yeah, that should be that should be good. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. So, um, yeah, I still have this like dovetail thingy, and I'll be putting it on this thing. Uh, oh. By the way, I got this off um, astroshop.eu. It's a great shop. Highly recommend it. <laughs> wow. Seriously, look at that. Uh. Whatever. So, um, yeah. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, these are like two very large guy scope rings, and I badly needed them because they will fit perfectly on this on the the dovetail, which will then of course fit perfectly on top of the main ten inch. Um, yeah. So. I'll go ahead and get some bolts, so just hang on. Okay, so I did some searching, but I really couldn't find anything I could use, so um, yeah, let me explain. These, these rings are to be mounted on this thing, but I have nothing to, like, that's long enough that can fit under this, so um, I am going to have to cut these uh, bolts with a saw. So, okay, so big change. Um, this dovetail has different uh, threads, so I can't uh, screw these things on the dovetail. Luckily, I still have this Skywatcher dovetail, which has um, Imperial thread. So, I'm going to use that. So, <laughs> so it turns out I am literally the dumbest person you could think of because um, I've been struggling with this for like the past half an hour, maybe? Um, so I tried to put this, uh, this dovetail under this, un under the guy scope rings, but that's just nonsensical because I don't have the right screw size for this uh, I mean bolt size so I just I was like why would they put such incredibly short screws uh, with these guide scope rings and then I was like well there's this slit that is on this very expensive dovetail and I can just put it like this so, yeah, that's that. Done. 
So now I have this and I'm basically done. So all I have to do now is just slide this scope in the thing. So, so all I have to do now is just slide the scope inside the, uh, the guide rings, turn them a bit, To agree some people say this this guide scope is just far too large but to them I say fuck off and die just kidding so it is in there Something is a bit off. It needs to be down. Hmm. Not quite. Pointing down, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, this screw is blocking it. Fuck. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay, so now it's pointing up. That's better. This is actually very difficult, so I'll just do it off camera. So, you know. um, so I'm taking everything upstairs right now because uh, my main 10 inch is upstairs and it's it's, it's just easier to work uh, with everything upstairs so I don't have to take the whole setup downstairs. So here we are. Why is it so dark? There we go. So uh, let's see here. So here's the 10 inch and I have to fit this thing on top of this. Should be easy enough. So I turned on the air conditioning because it, it was getting quite warm in here. Uh, yeah, I have to. Um, wait, hold on. These holes need, need to line up perfectly. So it needs to. There we go. That's a lot easier to work with. So right now I have this giant contraption in my living room. Um, all of this is just so I can balance the, the setup before I put it back into my uh, into my bedroom for storage, I guess. So it's just simple. So if I turn it that way. Let's make a nice thumbnail, just like that. So uh, to round it up, uh, this be this week has been has only just begun, but uh, already I have the guide scope rings with the brand new guide scope. I'm really really eager to try that out. 
Uh, it should be a lot better than the smaller one I had. It should be around here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. This one, um, this is just basically the Skywatcher finder scope uh, that I 3D printed a little bracket for so I could fit the uh, ZWO ASZ290 in here. Um, but yeah, it's not the best quality. So this should be a lot better. And um, it also adds a fuck ton of weight. I don't want to get demonetized, so I'm going to take that out. But um, yeah, it, it adds a lot of weight, so I hope my mount can take it. And um, yeah, there really only is one way to try it out because maybe uh, it won't guide as well because it's a lot heavier. So yeah, I, I've taken a big risk by uh, buying. The bigger guide scope but um, yeah so tonight maybe if it's clear I'll try it out and I have my hopes up so yeah see ya